in 2014, uh, Ministry of Education and Ministry of Science, ICT, and Future Planning designated uh, research school or uh, and leading school of software education. So this year, uh, 2019, about one. 1,800 schools were designated software leading school. Software leading school are uh, supported about uh, 20,000 USA dollars from government, so they can they can uh, get the uh, devices and uh, program uh, ed uh, educational programs. So they. They support many activities, many camps to their students. So, Korean government has two tracks for software education. Uh, one is the one is for formal education program like the K twelve program and a higher education for universal college uh, system. And uh, another is informal educational program uh, about uh, out of school, uh, for example, online calling party or uh, local software education academy and educational broadcasting system for uh, software education for free. Yeah, education yeah, portal, you make the educational portal uh, like this. So this slide shows uh, some programs about K-12 and higher education and in K-12 uh, schools. So when I started to start study about computational thinking in my PhD course uh, about eight years ago, yeah, there is just one book of Scratch. Yeah, you know Scratch, yeah, right. Uh, Scratch. It, there is just one book about the Scratch. However, uh, today I thought coding books, yeah, keyword coding books, online bookstore. Surprisingly, coding coding keyword books are about two thousand uh, four hundred books, and software uh, software educations are about two hundred twenty books. Well, it's very impressive and uh, this stream is a huge change in educational field in Korea. So we are very grow up and develop the resource of computing education. So uh, apply, attempt to apply to K-12 system and K-12 students. So uh, also there are many K-12 software and maker camp for free. Uh, from by the government or by the uh, some companies or some NGOs. So uh, many, many agencies and many uh, groups support the software camp for free. Also in higher education level, the government designated 35 uh, software core university the role of that software core universities is to expand software education to all students. Yeah. And to establish software educational center and to establish new department for software education. So uh, 35 universities join the software core university. So a higher level education is changed. Uh, we have major partners, uh, four government agents have partners uh, to read educational association, teacher groups and private companies to ensure the successful imp implementation of this computing education curriculum. Yes, uh, I'm working with, working for KICSAF, yes, and uh, academic uh, uh, by professor academic um, association is uh, Korean Association Information Education and Korean Association of Computer Education. So, or some companies join the 
uh, deep streams, uh, for example, Naver or Samsung or Microsoft and uh, SK Telecom. So, and some companies join deep streams and deep education changes. So, I will intro uh, introduce the entry or K-12 teachers are using to teach to educational program languages, uh, Scratch and Entry. Uh, you know Scratch? Yes, yes. Entry is uh, a Korean style block program language that has been strongly influenced by Scratch. However, Entry is based on learning systems and learning service, online service, focused on online service. Now, for example, enable teacher to make online online classes for their students. So I think entry is a good uh, localization example about computing education. Yes, uh, entry is very popular in Korea, uh, block program language, and because entry company provides uh, various uh, service, for example, they support teacher community or connecting API for various hardware. hardware. So this slide show uh, there are uh, 50 devices that are able to connect to entry so teachers and students can use their devices, uh, for example, robot, microbit, Arduino, or uh, even drone. They can control block program language yeah, by entry. So uh, there are 50 devices connect the uh, entry. So a teacher and uh, student using the entry uh, control the drone, control the Arduino, control the micro bit. So entry is very popular in Korea block program language. Also, we are holding two online coding party a year. Sorry, so I think yes, it, yes. This entry is only in Korean or is in oh yes, yes, yeah. Uh, we are trying to translate uh, uh, other language. So I I know the English. I use the uh, support English and Vietnam language, and I I know some language support it. Okay. Doctor. Thank you. Uh, sorry. You Can you give us uh, the link of the 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 this? Uh, okay. Board? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this one. Play. Yeah. Playentry. Dot org. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's influenced by the uh, Scratch. Yes. And we are holding to online coding party a year. This year, for two weeks, just for two weeks, about six hundred sixty thousand students participate this online coding part. Uh, it was planned and conducted by government and some companies. There are various courses about uh, block programming uh, missions and uh, text coding missions and algorithm courses. So uh, students and teachers can cho cho choose the uh, adoptive students. Uh, they want to join the uh, various coding party program. So this year's uh, six, yeah, this year's many students can join and enjoy the online coding part. So it's very, very cool of, I think, online coding part is the, uh, making the cultural, uh, cultural environment uh, for coding education. So this year, in addition, uh, we made the educational broadcasting system developed uh, for free online course for all teachers and students, evsoftware.kr. Yeah, they developed online teaching content for elementary and uh, middle school and high school students. Uh, we have six, six, six software textbooks for elementary school. So they develop teaching resources about that six textbook for elementary school. So uh, elementary school teachers can use the online course for free. 
also, yes, we held some global seminar and workshop. We invited some members of computing at school from UK, uh, uh, class members of UK. Uh, uh, Miles Berry three years ago visited uh, in Korea, and Jeanette Wing visited uh, in Korea three years ago. They have seminar and uh, talk about computational thinking education. So we uh, last year we invited some global leaders from code.org and CSTA members, and uh, you know Miles Berry from CAS and Mitchell Lesnick, yes. Uh, I joined the seminar and workshop, you know, Mitchell Lesnick give uh, good impact, good impact for uh, Korean teachers and students. So uh, as mentioned other earlier, yeah, uh, computational thinking is the focus on 4P, yes, and expression and problem solving, yes. Uh, we many many students and many teachers and professors impressed by his teach and uh, his ideas and last year uh, we uh, i beat the scratch conference at mit yes with uh, professor john i be, i was very impressed by the methods of the next generation and i believe Nelson Mandela's words, education is most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world. So I'm trying to give opportunity, equal opportunity for about computing education for all students. And I'm very pleased to present Korean status to our members. So yes, thank you. Thank you for attention. Yeah. For my attention presentation. Yeah. Thank you. Very well. Thank you. So, um, before we open to questions, I'd like to say that we have more uh, peers join us. We have Mohona from Canada and our friend also Beatrice. Uh, Beatrice is Italian, living in Sweden, and Mohona is Indian, Hello. <laughs> living in Canada. So, Hello. people, <laughs> so uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your very impressive presentation. And for sure, we have a lot of questions. Uh, so, let's start. Uh, also, now we have um, Yves Colonel. Yves uh, is from France. Uh, he's one of those old friends from 2013 when we took LCL and CCAL. So it's a very active member of this community as well. Hi, Eve. Hi, Mohona. Hi, Beatrice. Hello, hello, Asha. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Mohona, would you like to, to turn on your video? Or? Oh, sure. Uh, actually, I just got it from Really, I was being very shy to show my video, but yes, I will. Okay. Ah, and also we have a Simon from Tanzania. Um, Hi. Please say hello, people. Hey. Yeah, glad glad to be here after a long time. Yes. Hey. Nice to have you all here. Beatrice. Hey. 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 <laughs> oh, now we can see you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We, uh, Beatrice uh, and the others that are arriving now, uh, we had finished our presentation of Solon King, but the only the presentation because now we're starting with the the 
questions? Yes, it was a very interesting presentation and information. Uh, information and also we have here uh, two professors from South Korea that was invited by Solan King. So, uh, Adele, uh, would you like uh, to resume or talk a little bit what Solan King has told us in general? Just to situate to the others that are arriving here, please. Uh, the highlights right. of uh, the presentation, so they can follow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I will, I will um, make like a summary, but yes. from my side, which yes, means that sure. there is a lot of points, like they were attracting me, because I am, as I told you in the beginning, we have a new national curriculum in Tunisia. And I, I wanted to see uh, the difference between what we are doing and what you are doing in Korea. And Korea for us is a leading uh, country. So you were speaking about the history of, of education in the beginning uh, of ICT education. So as I understood, you, you, uh, you were mainly uh, teaching uh, computer as a tool. So kids, they were not used uh, to, 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 to program the computer in the past, but now they will uh, do the programming part or computational thinking part from primary school until high school, right? And moreover, it's connected to university. So in the university level, they know that the new generation will be exposed since, uh, I mean, early age to computer science. So they will be prepared to change their content, right? And uh, after that, you, you spoke about uh, how you were planning to do this. So you had like uh, leading schools in the beginning and you were doing this step by step, right? So step by step uh, for the training of teachers. I, I retain also an important uh, point about the resources. Now you say that there is... Oh, unfortunately, he lost his connection. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Anders, Very would you like summary. to go on yeah. from yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. As we wait for Adele to come, I have a question, though. Yes. Uh, maybe yes. Anders would like to finish the summary he was doing. <laughs> or Cassandra? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Cassandra, would you like to, f to make some uh, appointments no. or highlights from the presentation? Um, he yeah, I had I had uh, uh, I had some questions, but but the um, some of the things that stuck out is is um, the one of the examples of the tools that they use in the education system uh, for coding. I believe for primary school is PlayEntry.org, um, which I don't know if it, it was translated when I went to the website. It was translated in English for me, so it so it actually looked very much like Scratch. Um, especially the the new version, and so you could, uh, I can see that I can actually get to use it. Um, it's it seems to me from from what from what I got from the discussion, um, it seems to me that that uh, <clears throat> Korea is making uh, big strides toward toward uh, incorporating computer science studies in in all ages, um, from primary school to to high school to to the university level, and um, yeah, that, that's super exciting. Um, one of the things that stuck out for me is is the idea of of um, of, of it. It sounds like for 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 Su Huan is trying to get more hours for the classes because it's not enough time, right? You said like some of them are like seventeen hours a year. Um, yeah, for the class, and you obviously. Um, one of the things I learned from, from, from just trying to learn software in general and working with young people with software is that it's, it's not so much exposing them to the, to the software that's the challenge. It's kind of the consistency that they get to, that they get to be with the software and, and keep working with it at a, um, over and over frequently. Because if you do it uh, 
if you do it like say once a month um, it's really hard to learn something if you if there's a big time in between where you're not doing it. Um, and so, yeah, that's going to be huge as far as I improving the um, uh, uh, improving the education of, 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 of computer science and everything. I think it's going to be big once you start doing it more frequently. That's going to be really important. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see to also see the. Um, the event, I forget what the name of the event was, but the one that Mitchell Resnick was at and, and the fact that you're doing it, um, you're bringing people internationally to come and, and exchange ideas with, 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 with mm -hmm. other um, nations with similar goals. That was super cool to hear as well, so, yeah. Thank you, Christina. Mm -hmm. So um, now we could start uh, making questions. Uh, Simon, uh, you told that you wanted to make a question. Are you okay to start? No, actually, mine was um, already talked about, but it was just uh, the same thing that I'm seeing a lot of similarities between entry and scratch. And for some reason, I wanted to know if uh, it is best off of scratch and if there are any contributions that are going back to scratch uh, because it looks really advanced more than scratch but also it looks uh, similar so maybe Kim can uh, share like for example I would just say I see a separation between the looks and the brush so I don't know if you're involved in the the logic of creating this platform but uh, yeah, I just wanted to understand if there are any similarities and contribution. Yeah, uh, I think uh, the, the difference between entry and scratch. Uh, scratch is very powerful and good tool. I agree, and I use I I uh, I literally the scratch, uh, but is uh, focused on uh, online service for uh, Korean teachers and students. So they use, they support the uh, making online courses for years ago. So uh, earlier, uh, um, yes, yeah, yeah, they, they support the uh, online courses and uh, teacher community for Korean teacher. So they they made the uh, supporting group uh, from Korean teachers. So they they created uh, resources for uh, student Korean students. So I think I think the entry is localized a good example localization for nations. So the entry support uh, many devices yeah, i mentioned earlier um, with my presentation so they support often the connect the api for uh, some devices like you know, microbits or uh, robot so many robot uh, companies uh, make the api connecting entries uh, also uh, and uh, text to um, the publisher for elementary school textbook, they make the uh, elementary school textbook. So publishers uh, can uh, use the entry, write the entry, entry content uh, for their textbook. So uh, we have six, six textbooks for elementary school. Yeah, six books, elementary school. Uh, all uh, five books, has the entry using uh, programming language. So entry is, uh, I think, a good localization example for, uh, yeah, uh, foundation view, I think. Uh, sorry, I have a question. Also, I have a question. Uh, all right. Go uh, please go ahead, go ahead. All right. What about uh, middle school and high school? What will you uh, be teaching exactly? I mean, uh, as tool, as programming language, mm -hmm. the target of it? 
because you were speaking in general, but I wanted to know if you, uh, in, uh, uh, if you, you, if mm -hmm. uh, you, um, you will choose uh, a programming language yeah. and uh, on, yeah. on yeah. which level you will, uh, for yeah. example, in the end of the the, the uh, high school, what should a Korean uh, students know about the programming? Is it the basics, yeah. or do you have like uh, more, uh, 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 let's say, uh, complicated uh, uh, skills? Yes. Okay. I think the barrier of language uh, is a very difficult point to Korean students. Uh, you know, Korean students uh, don't like speak English. <laughs> they just learn uh, grammar about uh, English. So they uh, they have a weak point to speaking and listen and hear. Uh, English. So uh, I think the barrier is about English language is uh, very difficult to Korean students. So uh, sorry, uh, I from, speak about the programming language. The okay. programming language. Okay, okay, okay. I, I see. We use the block uh, program language in Korean. So entry and scratch is uh, the popular language for uh, elementary and middle school students, they can change the language in Korean. So we use a uh, block coding program for elementary school students and middle school students. And our curriculum has a text coding program started uh, in high school students. But, but I think, I think, but I think uh, next, gen uh, next generation, for next generation or uh, next curriculum has uh, text coding for middle school students, I think. Yeah, uh, I think the text coding language is, uh, good text coding language is, uh, I think two languages, one is the Python and the other is JavaScript yeah, for middle school students, yeah. So you did not choose yet? For now, you don't know the, the, the choice? Uh, sometimes for gifted, gifted uh, students, uh, they use the Python and JavaScript for uh, middle school levels. And uh, very, very intelligent uh, student, uh, gifted student, use uh, Python and JavaScript in elementary level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What it's about high school? Passion. What about high school? If you start, for example, in middle school Python, in high school, what you will teach them? I think uh, Python is good uh, middle school and high school student. Uh, I think uh, C or Java is not adaptive to high school students. Hello. Uh, Python very, very large range uh, for industrial rebel so uh, i think when python is good for middle school, school and high school students yes in in these days you know the python using uh, for ai programming or data science programming so we will start it to high school students using python uh, about running data science and ai programming so I think the Python is a good uh, uh, middle and high school student. Would you, I'm um, got a quick question. Would you mind sharing uh, an example of maybe specific projects that you would do for those different levels? So, so um, I imagine you, you don't just, uh, you do show them how to use like say the block coding but what's an assignment or a project that a middle schooler would do in, in, in Korean education for the block coding? Yes, uh, there is a uh, there's a important point and a difficult point. We are trying to assignment and uh, evaluate the uh, ability about programming and problem solving with coding. So uh, we are focused on uh, uh, Professor John. 
how how Korean language 어, 과정 중심 평가 뭐라고 하죠 영어로? 어, process 아, process centered assessment method 어, for about their portfolio and their coding product and their activity uh, in their classes. So we uh, observation value assessment tool and we check the rubric uh, students product coding product. So we will focus the uh, and we'll develop the process centered uh, assignment tool. We, we are trying to develop a process a central assignment tool. Yeah. I wanted to ask. So when I, I have a question. Yes. Yeah, may, may I go on? Yeah, okay. Go. So yes. my question yes. is very. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. My my question is is very simple. Do you think um, um, that the software teaching will ever be integrated into math teaching, or do you keep them separated? Because I, I frequently see that uh, in many many countries or schools, uh, the teaching of computer science is separated is considered something separated from the teaching of maths. Uh, can you tell me something about uh, South South Korea approach? Yes, uh, uh, our subject uh, separated math and science and computer science. We call it uh, informatics. Yes, we uh, informatics and mathematics and science are separated. Uh, they, uh, it is a subject. But um, in these days, we uh, try to the convergence were integrated math, medics, and science, and informatics. So uh, we made the role uh, uh, integration role about uh, mathematics and uh, science and informatics. So we make the educational plan uh, next for five years. So that laws at that plans has the uh, convergence or integrate mathematics and science and informatics. But but now but now our uh, curriculum, their subjects are separate. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Mohana, you would like to ask something? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Heloza, and thanks. Um, uh, so, one thing, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you yeah, yeah. for this uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, I had a question, uh, as I see uh, that you are using play entry, and, and I understand South Korea doesn't want to, you know, switch to other English languages like English, or they want to continue in your own native language. Uh, I was wondering in Scratch also, because it's influenced based on Scratch, you said. In Scratch also, like, um, there were many translations into different languages. Uh, have any of them tried that yet? And um, coming to, like, different devices connection, I have seen people doing that as well. So is there anything that was a block for which you kind of moved towards play entry? Okay. Uh... Uh, entry is uh, I, I, I mentioned the real entry is uh, focused on uh, online service so scratch, uh, scratch is uh, popular in internationally so I like really scratch and scratch is ideas and scratch value but entry is focused on localization service uh, making uh, support the uh, teacher community or uh, Korean uh, cultural content, uh, making character, so making background, the like graphic image, they supported in Korean cultural environment. So it's very uh, important to Korea. 
because you know Korean industry uh, is uh, higher level, so uh, many companies uh, develop the many devices for education or uh, for uh, programming. So uh, I showed the slide. Uh, five, uh, Fifty devices are developed by many companies. So uh, I think the entry is support the companies and teachers and students. So it is very powerful to Korean field. So I think it's a good example localization. But but uh, we use the scratch and entry both because scratch scratch is the I think scratch is the uh, a real different value and real different uh, insight uh, for student and teacher. So I use the both. Uh, sometimes use the entry, sometimes use the scratch. So uh, in Korean is very special case, I think. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sohan. Uh, another quick question uh, is that um, you mentioned about uh, informatica and you know machine learning, artificial intelligence. So is it that in the middle school and high school, the students are trying to be prepared in that way so that they kind of end up, you know, getting those kinds of uh, areas of programming or, I mean, I just wanted to know a little bit. Yes, uh, you know, and or our members know, uh, AI programming is very, very popular and expand to K-12 students. So mm -hmm. I know the Chinese, make the uh, AI textbook for high school students. So we are trying to, we are trying to, this year, we are trying to uh, develop the textbook for high school students for AI programming. So I, I think we, we use, we will use the Python programming language for AI programming. So we are trying to AI programming uh, for K-12, uh, about I think about uh, it started in high school, but but we don't know we don't know what is the uh, good example about the K twelve AI programming. So we are trying to and we are researching and we are start start starting for K twelve for AI programming. So uh, if you have a good uh, idea, yeah, can, can share, uh, share I can your your idea. I can tell yeah. one programming language, which is R, and yeah. um, that is that might be helpful because I work in business intelligence, and you know, okay. uh, like it's heading towards machine learning. Uh, so yeah. that's that's just a suggestion. But thanks for sharing your knowledge. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you. Maybe all of us are going to take a look on these intra-program <laughs> languages and it, <laughs> it seems to be interesting. Any questions? Uh, yes, I have one uh, about hardware programming. Uh, because you were speaking about software programming. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. all your curriculum is about software, right? So, um, do, uh, is hardware programming has a place into your curriculum or do you consider it as a different part? Let's say, for example, mm -hmm. Arduino programming or, or Raspberry Pi or what, what is the, the place of hardware programming in your new curriculum? Yes, uh, our, I mentioned earlier in my presentation, yes, we have four parts and uh, fourth part is about uh, physical computing uh, with hardware. So uh, in middle school students use the uh, uh, sensor board like as uh, Pico board. Yes, yeah, sensing programming and high school students uh, use, can use the Arduino and IoT devices and robots, some robots. Uh, but, but I think uh, physical computing or hardware programming is not uh, popular in Korea. Uh, I think the in in these days, a micro bit is very popular for physical computing. It's very cheap and good good devices for educational. So uh, micro bit is popular in Korea. And the other devices we use the uh, uh, connect the entry and scratchy. Uh, 
we call it hamster robot. Hamster robot is uh, like as a cubic, yeah, like a cubic, yes. Uh, that is the robot uh, programming uh, by uh, with scratch and uh, entries. So elementary school and middle school students can use scratch control the uh, control the hamster robot. Yeah, go forward and go backward and turn left and they uh, they make the line tracer like a line tracer and uh, use the mirror <coughs> programming like that. So uh, in Korean, physical computing is uh, very very uh, funny uh, areas for K twelve students, but uh, the higher levels or advanced course is not is not just uh, developed for K twelve students. Yeah. I have another question. Yeah. Do you use any okay. do, uh, do you use any methodology of um, formative assessment for um, software teaching? You know, um, like what what what's, uh, what's the the way you use to assess students in general, and especially as far as formative assessment is concerned. Thank you. Yes, this uh, uh, it's very important. Uh, it's very big challenge uh, in Korea teachers uh, to assignment uh, computational <laughs> thinking and competence about. Uh, students. Uh, so we use the rubric, assessment rubric for their coding product, and we uh, use the observation rubric for their activity. And sometimes we use the uh, pencil based test or computer based test for algorithm, algorithm uh, example. Yes. Uh, so we focused on in this day. We focused on develop the uh, process centered assessment tool, uh, like as rubric, like as ob ob observations, worksheet, or uh, project based task. Yes, we are uh, trying to develop month assignment, uh, various ass assignment for. Yeah, yeah. Yes. education. Do you do you think you can you can share with us later uh, some of the rubrics if you? Oh yeah, sure, can. but but it's in Korean language, so. Uh, ah, okay. I, okay. I, I, I I have to <laughs> translate yeah. English. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank okay, you. Uh, about um, yeah. physical computing. The professor Susan Jeon, uh, professor from South Korea, friend of Solon King, is she has some problem with communication now, but she's saying uh, that as for physical computing, elementary schools have a bit of built-in robot uh, program. Yeah. In general yeah. high school, we learn programming using sensor boards. In high school, there is contents for fusion education using Arduino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Dr. John, thank you. Uh, and now Maria Beatrice uh, wants to make a question. Go on, Beatrice, please uh, go on. Hey, um, just to know, have you used have a, have a use it unplugged activities in? Uh, primary or kindergarten uh, i mean um, uh, unplugged activities it means no without computer so using uh, uh, using all of the, i don't know if you know the unplugged yes we call it unplugged unplugged computing yes we call it unplugged. yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah unplugged computing yeah unplugged yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we, yeah. It, which is the the, the level of school you use it, and uh, what do you think about that? 
Yes, I think the, uh, I researched and studied the unplugged computing uh, from Kimber professor. So it's focused on computer science knowledge and computer science uh, concept. But uh, I think uh, it's not good for in Korean elementary uh, students. So we develop uh, some unplugged activity for Korean students. So we started in uh, first grade and third grade uh, unplugged uh, activities for computer science, uh, teaching computer science. But I think uh, that is not uh, there is not uh, for specific web or, or specific. Uh, okay, okay, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I can use uh, unplugged computing uh, two tracks. One is the uh, student's level. So uh, lower level student can learn uh, from uh, use unplugged computing uh, about computer science knowledge. And the other method is the uh, teaching and learning method. For example, uh, uh, in, class, in class process, uh, first, uh, we, we have to introduce and uh, teach the computer science knowledge and concept to students. We can use the unplugged activity, yes, uh, to deliver the concept or knowledge of computer science, yeah, first, first step and second step, a student uh, consider and find the concept. Yeah, first, first step, we can use the unplugged method. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Eve, would you like to ask something? Uh, Eve, yeah, yes, what about computing and art? Yes, yeah. it's very, very <laughs> interesting and very, yeah, yeah. So, very, yeah, just, but, just to know what, what, what your feeling was about that, um, I, I'm trying when I, when I, when I bring uh, kids to computing to, to, to assign them some projects on art, uh, first with Scratch, uh, yeah. like designing some cartoons, but then moving to, mm -hmm. um, other technologies such as processing, for example, which is very interesting for art. So, uh, just wanted to know what what, what yeah. you what you were thinking about that. Yes, I think uh, it it depends on teachers and, and students. Yeah, in Korean, uh, have gender issues. Uh, you know, the girls like uh, anime, making the animations and cartoon. Uh, but boys want to making the game, yeah. So uh, we we teach it uh, depends on a student status or student uh, so gender. So I think computing and art connection is very good good example or very good project, but uh, is not popular in Korea. Uh, I don't know why. But uh, computing and our um, connection of computing and part uh, project is uh, uh, not popular. Some students, some students trying to computing and art, yes, uh, project, yeah, involve. So they yeah, sometimes uh, they make the uh, amazing world, yes, but uh, it's not popular part in Korea. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's, it's a French student very, very, <laughs> very, very uh, make the good uh, project, good example for computing and art. Yes. How about your student? Uh, usually my students like to start with uh, um, yeah, build, building stories. And uh, when I try to teach them is first to to, to create, mm -hmm. to, to, to come up with their ideas on paper. And that's not wow. necessarily unplugged, but start with, um, yes, uh, designing, drawing, wow. uh, uh, discussing with people about what they want to, 
to tell as a story and then oh, move, wow. move to scratch and I'm always impressed about how they easily um, use the scratch blocks to finally come up with a final story and really the, the most difficult part actually in this exercise is make them slow down uh, leave the computer and yeah create the story yes wow <laughs> wow yeah you can use your buildings to yes uh, uh, I, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I, th I think the, the scratch tool for painting is not too, is still too simple, maybe, for I, I uh, mm -hmm. yeah. usually children prefer to, to draw by hand because they are not satisfied by the scratch paint, I mean, or using other other tools uh, maybe more performance uh, have you uh, do you agree yeah I, I agree but i think you can import your uh, the, the the drawings into scratch you, you can import any yes, drawing uh, exactly we do that but we are we are waiting for uh, maybe uh, more Mm, better uh, scratch paint, maybe. Um, in fact, I like the thought which uh, Beatrice just mentioned, um, because uh, from on a personal level experience, whenever I work with children from different countries, some of the areas where I found, especially like in India, Sometimes even people lose, uh, you know, interest in scratch. And I was like, super, um, like what happened? And uh, I mean, they didn't want to continue. Probably they would prefer drawing in hands as she mentioned. So I was thinking like, um, again, coming back to the thing that I think um, uh, Professor, uh, maybe uh, Cassie Embo. Uh, he mentioned that, uh, uh, yeah, practice is one of the most important thing, especially when we are doing programming and stuff like that. So do you have any good ideas about that? Like how to keep them engaged more? Uh, like something that you have played around and you have learned maybe? Um, yeah. I, we, we have a lot of, uh, <laughs> of course, that is, we have uh, some experience. This, I worked with the students with children uh, with literacy problems. Have I have a present, presented something about it in Bordeaux? I don't know if you remember. Uh, use not only use scratch to learn, uh, but as Mitoresn say, using uh, computer to learn and not learn it computer. So it's that's what I, I, I like the most and storytelling because we have to remember those technology we are living in this moment the huge technology uh, revolution we have uh, i think we have always to remember that the the people the person the child each child is a universe and we can't as much as we can we can separate these from this of course we have to dedicate our expertise in all this stuff but we have always to remember and to recognize in children their all um, capabilities uh, i have a question if you don't mind uh, about uh, the problem uh, that you you faced uh, as the government to implement this uh, uh, program uh, in the national level, what are the problems uh, that you face in general from the society, from the teachers, from the infrastructure, any kind of problems? Uh, Kim, we don't listen. Your sound is muted. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have uh, same problems, yes. I think uh, government rebels, uh, we have made the uh, policy about computing education. I showed the 
uh, limitation of uh, uh, the revised curriculum, just uh, 15 hours for six years alum uh, from elementary school. So it is very, very big limitation of computation education, computing education for K-12 in Korea. So uh, government drivers make the uh, plan and educational system for K computing education and uh, role level for application level. I think teachers, uh, teachers uh, perception or teachers attitude about computing education will be changed because uh, they they don't like the new curriculum or new technology or new knowledge. <laughs> so uh, uh, we we have to try the change from teachers' attitude, teachers' uh, perception. And last level, we, we pursued and uh, we introduced the new curriculum to students and parents because in Korean parents has the uh, powerful, powerful, uh, powerful managing and in charge about their children. So uh, many, many parents uh, decide and determine uh, the, their children's, yes, children's uh, for future about the uh, uh, jobs so uh, and, and university so uh, we pursue and introduce new curriculum for good good gift to, to your students for future for generations so I think uh, all countries have same same problems and, and same situation so we have to try all around field, or on a field, and government drivers, and teacher drivers, and students, and parent drivers. We are trying to, yeah, I think. Uh, uh, so on. Oh, okay, go, go. No, go, go ahead, Ado. We, we decide to, to, to do our questions always at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I will just finish with the same question. Uh, uh, do yeah. in in Korea in 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 middle school and high school level, do we have computer science teachers? I mean, with computer science uh, background, or uh, do it's other teachers who teach this? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, elementary in Korean elementary school teachers can teach all subjects. Yeah, they run and uh, free uh, free teachers university learn all subjects and. Middle school and high school students separate the subjects. So informatics teachers, yes, uh, or middle school and high school uh, informatics teachers ha uh, have have to teach uh, informatics only informatics. But uh, for ten years, last ten years, government uh, government uh, informatics teachers can. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, government uh, can elect the uh, informatics teacher. Uh, don't didn't elect the uh, informatics teacher. So uh, about three, or four, uh, three, two years ago, yeah, government started the uh, charge, the managing the charge, then employ employ uh, informatics teacher. So we are growing. We are growing teacher numbers. Yeah. Uh, Professor Shujan Jiun, <laughs> she's uh, saying that the problem of creating new subjects such as computers and add them to college exams is not easy, but there is a special selection for programming gifted. She's saying that is not easy. <laughs> yes. So one, my question, my question is: Is your is the software t software course uh, uh, elective or mandatory? Yeah, yes. In elementary school and middle school students, uh, middle school are mandatory and compulsory. 
but uh, 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 lesson time, uh, class time is your zero uh, bit times. As, as I mentioned earlier, uh, elementary school, just 17 hours for six years. And <laughs> it focused on uh, two grades, uh, fifth and sixth grades, yes, uh, 17 hours. And middle school students can learn uh, over 34 hours for three years. But we try to over, yeah, over 34 hours uh, to all middle school students. So uh, some schools teach uh, 68 hours or some schools 34 hours for three years. But all elementary and middle school students can learn, yes, in computational thinking education. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, uh, I think we are about to finish in our session today. Uh, I'd like to first uh, to know if it, is there any other question or uh, yes. Person. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know, the reason, there is a reason. I told them because in Tunisia we are changing our curriculum yeah, yeah. and, and they, they made like a huge change in the curriculum. Yeah. And for the teachers, for the community, everybody like was, wow, what you are doing, you understand? And I was thinking yeah. our curriculum is really up to date, but the problem is that the community is not ready. The community is yeah. not ready for it. So we need to push. Yeah. This is my question. How do you see yeah. the engagement of the companies and uh, you say there is Samsung and Microsoft and a lot of like non-governmental uh, organization helping you implement this, right? How do you <laughs> they feel this? Do you see this as like we need your support or just it's a kind of, okay, it's, it will help? Okay. Uh, I think, okay, Professor John? Please help me your idea or your view about company support. Is it okay? Uh, Professor John, okay, how about your idea or your view about uh, company support? Like uh, Samsung, M MS, Microsoft? support computing education to K-12 in Korea. And thanks, Angel, for the question. Even I had that question too, because I was just about to ask another, another thing related to Microsoft's uh, Skypeathon that they are trying to promote a lot about teaching people in every zone. And, and though it's a little deviating, but I wanted to know as well, like companies role in this. Okay, I think in, in Korea, uh, MS or Samsung or SK Telecom is support to computing edge game for K-12. Uh, it is very powerful and I think uh, powerful and, and good, good for K-12 student. But, but and it is a uh, it is a bright side and uh, I I think uh, that support has a dark side. Dark side is. Uh, all students uh, have the family uh, for uh, their company. So I think it is very, uh, very, um, uh, very important point because uh, students uh, want to write, uh, they, they didn't want to write the company, but the environment, all environment focused on uh, MS or Samsung, so they they just don't don't like the company. But environment, education environment supported by Samsung, so they uh, they may be familiar to Samsung or they uh, like the would be like Samsung. Mm -hmm. So it is. It is a, I think it is a dark side. Yeah, but but I think uh, the company. Uh, support more a lot of a lot of funding or all benefit for K twelve students uh, for free, just for free. 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, Professor Sujin is saying that Samsung and Naver are investing in South education in schools like Intel and Microsoft yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they support the software camp or online programming course support and uh, competition about computational education, uh, computational thinking education. For example, Samsung competition is very popular in Korea for K-12 computing education. So many, many students yeah, many join the Samsung competition. Yeah, it's very popular in Korea. Jill is always saying that Samsung has provided teachers with tuition fees to teach programming at school. And Naver has produced and supported a variety of programming education content. Yeah. Thank you, Sujin. So, uh, Mohana, <laughs> you want to, to ask something? <laughs> yeah, one last yeah. question, and sorry, uh, maybe I missed uh, the first part of the presentation a little bit. So, I wanted to know, like, in terms of global network, because I saw pictures of you, uh, Mitchell Resnick, uh, like from MIT, and then a uh, lot of collaboration going on with UK, you mentioned. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I understand, like, for South Korea, you have a specific way uh, and a thought of, you know, uh, doing the education this way, and then, you know, doing the programming curriculums this way. Can you please uh, share a little bit of uh, you know knowledge about how when you're collaborating, what are the new things that you're incorporating, or how is the change taking place in the system? Okay, uh, I think uh, we uh, we have good cooperation with government and uh, company and also academic associations. So. Uh, I said earlier, KISAP, Korean Information Science uh, Federation. I work in KISAP for KISAP. KISAP is the management uh, managing for corporations, government, and, and company, and uh, agency, and teacher group. So uh, we are managing the computing for K-12 uh, um, computing education. Uh, some agencies we uh, we are uh, employed and engagement their their participation. So uh, I I I think uh, you have you have to the uh, uh, control tower uh, about like at KISAP. Yes, uh, main main director group. Yeah is very important, I think. Yes, connecting the government and companies and teachers. So we have KISAF. Yeah, KISAF charges that role. Thank you. Yeah. I have a last question, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, do you remember in your one of the, your first slides when you were talking about the history of the, your changing of the curriculum? You, there is one one part yeah. you said we failed, we failed. You remember this? Uh, I don't know. I think two thousand and four or something like this. So my question is, uh, what if you now with this new uh, curriculum and you have big dreams? What if you fail? What is your plan to fail to 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 deal with this? I mean, are you ready to fail and to, 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 to manage this? Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a very good point. Yes, I think uh, our failure is from the uh, not prepared to teacher. Yes, I think uh, the chain, the main chain, main factor uh, for the change, yes, is uh, teacher. I think so. Uh, we not prepare the teacher. So uh, 
in these years and uh, in these days, we're trying to uh, prepare the teacher group for uh, teaching computing education. So we have two tracks. One is the preschool university for K-12 uh, schools. So we changed the uh, preschool university in the curriculum of our computing education for preschool university. Yeah. So and the other the other trial is to previous teachers for so previous teachers. So we make the online course and offline course for new computing education. So and uh, we develop the uh they can learn uh some devices and some uh language coding tools and some uh device uh, hardware devices and the other courses is uh, consists of teaching and learning strategy and teaching and learning method and uh, about the assignment for uh, computational thinking so uh we have a two track uh, trial uh, attempt. Uh, one is the preschool uh, university uh, uh, and the other is uh, previous teachers for computing education. So I think uh, very important, um, most important point is uh, for teacher, I think, yeah. Thank you so much. It was really important for me because I agree with you. You know why? Because I think if you bring these technologies to kids, they will learn them very, very quick. Yeah. Kids, they learn. Middle school, high school, they learn. But the problem is always with the teachers because usually yeah. they say, yeah. oh, maybe it's too much for us. You know, when I make training for teachers, if you, for example, you make like 100%, uh, uh, for example, content now, in the next week, they will forget. But kids, yeah. when you teach them 100%, in the next week, they will add more and more. They, they are always creative. But teachers, they are like different. Uh, you, you need to make the training in different sessions, take your time, uh, teach them the technical part, and also yeah. how to teach these yeah. skills. You need to show them how yeah. yourself you teach these skills yeah. and so on. I mean, teach, uh, teaching teachers is more and more difficult than teaching uh, kids yeah. for my side. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think yeah. about this? Yes, yes. We have to step by step. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we should not stop by this. Uh, I mean, uh, we they should not be this in this situation. Uh, I mean, they should support. Yes, right. Yes, that's important. Going on. Yes, it's a very important point. Yeah, going on. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> thank you so much. It was really a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I thank you, Professor Su. <laughs> she, she, want, so she, she wants to say something. Please, Su Jin. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Government yeah. is very... Near, near yeah. the microphone, please. <laughs> so yeah. we can hear. Yes. Uh, I think, first of all, the strong will of the government is important. Uh, and positive thinking about our teachers' uh, software education at school is important. I think uh, government, uh, first of all, I, uh, government uh, try to uh, make uh, the situation uh, situation for uh, um, for positive uh, software education. I think that's it. Yes. Okay. That's very Korea important. Has I agree. <laughs> Yeah, government will is very important in Korea. Yeah. Thank you, Sujin. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, uh, let's uh, finish our session. I'm sorry. <laughs>
but uh, <laughs> I, I'd like to thank you very much to Professor Sewan King. <laughs> It's, yes, uh, it's my pleasure. Yeah. It, yes, it's very good to 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 learn from you. And uh, now he's going to United States to present this work in a uh, in very important uh, conference. Next so week we are going to CSTA conference with John two John professors. Yes, yes. Go to next week Phoenix in USA. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I will go there. Are you going to, Sushi? Yeah, yes, I will. Oh. I will. Yeah. Please send pictures to our group. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I, I, I'd like to, to, to thank you all for joining us, for your participation. And not only in this uh, meeting, my, but it's so good to know that we have friends across the world that has this passion, have this passion and are so supportive and encourage us to, to uh, so we can have friends to, to go on in our struggling and, and difficulties in our own country and process in education. Uh, so it's an honor to have you all here uh thank you so much thank you for organizing this Eloisa. yeah thank you thank you everybody thank you so much and hope to see you soon thank you yeah. bye everybody thank you everybody thank you. bye thank you have bye. a good travel safe travels for you too okay bye 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 thank you bye